I've really enjoyed being an agronomist. You get to see a lot of different things over the years. And you know, about the time you think, well, I've probably seen everything out in a soybean field that's going to happen. Well, then something new comes up and it keeps things interesting but they can be kind of expensive problems that pop up. So we wanna try and find solutions for them as quick as we can. Well, about five years ago, I was out in a soybean field that a farmer had called me and thought he had a Phytophthora root rot problem and had tried lots of different Phytophthora resistance traits and seed treatments and everything he could think of. But when I split open some stems on a field inspection, I found a surprise inside. It was a soybean gall midge larvae. Yep, I remember this too because Darren sent me a picture and goes, uh, hey Brian, what's this? And I said, I have no idea, I've never seen it. Well, guess what? No one had ever seen it. It's a brand new insect. Entomologists are super excited right now because they've discovered a brand new insect. I'm not excited about it at all. I think it's terrible. Where we're seeing this gall midge is fortunately in a relatively small area right now, but it seems like it continues to spread each year. Darren found it in Southeast South Dakota. We've seen it in Nebraska, in Iowa, in Minnesota. It is moving. Yeah, it definitely is. And when you think about this particular pest, it's not being controlled by anything that we're using to control other bugs in the field. So they often say, well, nature is going to adapt to our management practices and, and overcome them eventually. Here's one of those bugs that has overcome the practices that we're doing. So you say, well, I'm putting a seed treatment insecticide on and spraying a foliar insecticide. Won't that take care of it? No. We haven't found really any rate of the neonic seed treatment insecticides that have offered good control of this bug. And foliar, well, I just don't see those foliar applications being super effective. Maybe we'll find something down the road. But let me explain how this bug works. It starts off as a small little fly, and the fly lands on your soybean plant when it's fairly early in the season. It pierces that stem and lays its eggs underneath the skin on that stem. So the eggs are actually inside the soybean stem, while a foliar application is not going to contain those insects once they're in the stem. So you would have to kill that fly. So the biggest challenge, like Brian said, with a brand new insect is we didn't even know what the fly looked like. So we were putting out sticky traps and universities are putting out sticky traps. Eventually we caught some of the flies. Uh, they're really a cool looking bug as long as they're not in your field. You've got to control those flies. Well, they fly over several weeks. How on earth are you going to do that? We haven't figured that answer out just yet. When you, those eggs are inside that stem, eventually they're going to hatch and then it becomes this worm that hollows out the inside of the stem it's very possible that it could completely kill that plant. The plant could tip over. If you're out in your fields, where you should look first is on the field borders that are right next to where soybeans were planted last year. It does not seem like the bug moves very far, fortunately at this point, and we are seeing it typically on the end rows by far the worst. Now we have seen, like I say, 100% yield losses in extreme cases, but it's usually limited to just a few acres in the field. Darren mentioned in terms of the neonic seed treatments, yeah, we haven't seen much there. There are other insecticides that are being experimented with pre-emerge or as a seed treatment, but foliar, we have had some farmers tell us they've used really, really high rates, rates we can't legally talk about, foliar, and when they've done that, they've had so much residual there, it's either killed or at least repelled those flies. So that's one of the things that is going to be studied going forward. The big thing that I would say is you never know when something new is going to pop up in your soybean fields or any other crop that you're raising. So what I like to do when I get out in these investigations is dig up the root system, take a look and see if you see anything out of place there, then split some stems open and see what the inside of that plant looks like. Oftentimes that may give you an answer as to what's happening in your field. Well, gall midge can certainly be a problem on anyone's farm, as can our Weed of the Week. But we'll tell you how to stop this week's weed coming up next.